Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be talking about the asexual mode of reproduction followed by the kingdom fungi. Before this, we have talked about the vegetative mode of reproduction. Now we are going to talk about the asexual mode of reproduction. The asexual mode of reproduction mostly occurs by the formation of spores. Now these spores, what are these? These are highly resistant structures which are mostly formed in unfavorable conditions to survive these type of unfavorable conditions. Now when the conditions are favorable, then what happens? These spores can germinate back into new organisms. So they are very resistant structures. Some single celled propagules, they get separated from the parent organisms, which are actually the spores. So they are single celled and they separate out from the parent organism and they later on can germinate into new organisms. The spores, if these type of spores are produced after the process of meiosis, then they are known as the sexually produced spores and also they are known as meiotic spores or meiotic spores. You can pronounce otherwise. So if the spores are produced after uh, the sexual, after the meiosis process of meiosis, then it is known as the meiospore. The other type of spores which are not performing this myospores, what happens is these type of spores are known as the asexually produced spores or they are also known as mitospores. So these are the two major kinds of spores that are mostly formed. Now the different types of spores that is used by the fungi in order to uh, perform or in order to reproduce. First of all, we will be discussing about the zoo spores. These are motile spores that means they can move. Why can they move? Because of the presence of flagella. Now this flagella, we know these are whip like structures present in the surface of the organism. Now these flagella actually helps in swimming in case of the liquid medium. So these zoo spores, they are the motile spores, they can move. The second category is known as the sporangiospores. These are non flagellated unlike the zoo spores that is they do not have flagella they mostly develop inside structures which are known as sporangia and they are produced in large number because of the reason that they are they are dispersed by air since they do not have flagella they cannot move by its own unlike the zoo spores they need to be dispersed from one place to another how this is done this is done by air hence in order for proper dispersal a large number of such sporangiospores are formed the next type is known as the chlamydospores. These are very thick world spores. They are very resistant structures. They develop along with the hyphae by the accumulation of the protoplast and the secretion of a cell wall, thick cell wall. So what happens? The, in the hyphae it is formed, the protoplast accumulates at one end of the hyphae and it the results into the secretion of a thick wall. So it becomes a resistant structure. The next type of spore, they are called as oidea. So what are these? These are formed under very adverse conditions. These are small yeast like cells. So small yeast like cells are formed. These are termed as oidea. The uh, hyphae actually forms these type of small circular or oval yeast like cells. They can individually give rise to a new organism uh, and they get separated from the hyphae. The next type is known as conidia. So what are these? These are also non-motile and they are exogenous spores that is formed from outside. So they are exogenous and they are non-motile. They cannot move. They mostly develop at the sides of special type of hyphae which has been given a term which are known as conidiophores. So in the conidiophores, these type of conidia are formed which are nothing but spores which are non-flagellated and non-motile and they are exogenous spores. The next type is known as ascospores. These are non meiotic spores, they are produced inside special type of sacs which are known as asci. So inside the asci, these type of ascospores are formed. The last category is known as the basidiospores. So what are these? These are also non motile type of meiotic spores which are formed on short uh, outgrowths and these are club shaped outgrowths and these outgrowth structures, they have been given a term basidium. So inside the basidium, what happens? these type of basidiospores are formed. So in this video, we have talked about the asexual mode of reproduction which happens 
by the formation of spores we have also talked about the seven different categories of spores that is mostly formed or used by the fungi kingdom fungi in order to reproduce asexually i hope you have understood and like this video thank you